Hi, so for today we are going to talk about uh, higher order derivatives under differential calculus. And I think we're going to solve uh, three problems right here. So for our first problem, we have Q of t equals a secant 5 of t. So we are asked to find the second derivative Q double prime of t. So of course, before we get the second derivative, we must first get the first derivative. So we have Q of t. Okay, and remember that the derivative of secant of 5 of t uses chain rule in order for us to differentiate that. So, if you do that, we have the derivative of secant is secant of 5t tangent of 5t. And of course, we have to differentiate okay, the inner function of the secant, which is the 5t, with respect to t. So, in order to do that, we know that secant 5 of t, tangent 5 of t, the derivative of 5t with respect to t would be 5. So, now we are left with the first derivative as 5 secant of 5t, and then we have tangent of 5t. Alright, so that's the first derivative. So, how about the second derivative? So if we're going to get the second derivative of this, okay, let me just first factor out 5. Okay, so just just uh, factoring it out uh, outside the bracket because uh, secant 5t, tangent 5t, what we are going to do with that is to use a uh, product rule. So I'll just have the 5 outside of the bracket. Okay, so if I'm going to do that, get the derivative of that. That is product rule. So the product rule suggests that you have udv plus vdu. Or just like from my previous videos, we can copy the first one, secant 5t. And then we're going to differentiate tangent of 5t. Okay, differentiate that. Okay, and then we have plus... Okay, copy tangent of 5t, copy this, and we're going to differentiate secant of 5t, okay? So now we have applied the product rule. So let me just have some space here. Okay, so if we do that, we have 5 multiplied on the derivative of the whole secant 5t and tangent 5t. Don't forget that. So we have secant of 5t multiplied by the derivative of tangent 5t. The derivative of tangent 5t is secant squared 5t. And of course, don't forget to differentiate again the 5t. So we will be having 5 here. Okay? So that's the derivative of tangent of 5t. We have secant squared of 5t multiplied by 5. Okay? So we have used a uh, chain rule for that. So then plus, we have tangent of 5t. Okay, derivative of secant of 5t is the same. So we have seen that a while ago here, that the derivative of that is 5 secant 5t tangent 5t. So that becomes 5 secant of 5t and then tangent of 5t. Okay, so let me just rewrite the whole equation, the whole solution. So we have... Okay, we are going to distribute 5 on this term and also on this term. Okay, so remember we have factored out 5 a while ago so that our differentiation will be easier. Okay, so if I'm going to do that, that's 5 times 5. We have 25 secant of 5t. And then we have secant squared of 5t plus we have 5 times 5 the same okay we have secant of 5t this one tangent times tangent that becomes tangent squared of 5t so i just forget this can be also multiplied secant 5t and secant squared of t so we have 25 secant of cube of 5t and then we have plus 25 secant of 5t and then tangent squared of 5t. So, that is our answer for getting the second derivative of secant of 5t. However, we can still simplify the uh, final answer by factoring out some common factors. 
So we have, you can see we have 25 here, common factor. We have secant here, common factor. So we have 25 secant of 5t. I'm going to factor it out. So what's left for this term will be secant squared of 5t. And then we have plus tangent squared of 5t. So that if you multiply 25 secant of 5t, we can arrive at this answer still. So this is just the simplified okay, answer for our second derivative of Q of double prime of T. Okay, so that's our answer. All right, let's go now to the second problem. So we have for the second problem, we have F of X equals e raised to 1 minus 2x cubed and we're going to get the second derivative of that f of x so if we may recall that the, de the derivative of exponential function is simply the derivative of the exponent multiplied by the original function okay so let's try first to get f prime of x so that would be 0 minus 6x squared multiplied by the original function f of x. So 0 minus 6x squared because we differentiated the exponent of which that becomes 0 minus 6x squared because of the power rule. So we have e raised to 1 minus 2x cubed. So simplifying, we have negative 6x squared multiplied by e raised to 1 minus 2x cubed. So that's the first derivative. So, in the second derivative, we will shall be repeating the process f double prime of x. So, what technique do we need to use in order for us to get that? So, we are going to use product rule as this is an algebraic function multiplied by an exponential function. So, we're going to get, okay, first copy negative 6x squared and then multiply it by the derivative of e raised to 1 minus 2x cubed of which that's the original function that we had a while ago. Then plus, copy the second function, which is the exponential function. So we have e raised to 1 minus 2x cubed. Multiplied by the derivative of the first, which is negative 6x squared. Okay. So as we all know, we have already uh, differentiated this, as this is the original function. So we have negative 6x squared multiplied by the derivative of e raised to 1 minus 2x cubed is this result that we have solved a while ago. So that becomes negative 6x squared e raised to 1 minus 2x cubed plus e raised to 1 minus 2x cubed multiplied by the derivative of negative x 6x squared. That's negative 12x. Okay? So... Uh, simplifying, negative 6x squared times negative 6x squared, that becomes positive. So we have 36x raised to 4, e raised to 1 minus 2x cubed. Okay, and then negative 12x times e raised to 1 minus 2x cubed. So negative and then positive, that becomes negative 12xe raised to 1 minus 2x cubed. Okay, so we can still simplify by factoring out common factors from the two uh, terms that we have. So we have a common of 12, and 36 is divisible by 12, and we have a common factor of x here, and e raised to 1 minus 2x cubed. So we can factor that out. So we have 12x e raised to 1 minus 2x cubed. Actually, this full term. Then we have, okay, 3 x cube okay minus one so if we factor this out if we distribute 12 x e raised to 1 minus 2 x cube to 3 x cube the, the the result will be 36 x raised to 4 e raised to 1 minus uh, 2 x cube okay so this will be our final answer for the second derivative of this function okay so that's the second derivative. Okay. So how about for another problem number three? Okay. So for problem number three, we have f of x equals 
ln of 1 plus x squared. Okay, and then we're going to get the f double prime of x. Okay, so let's try to solve this. So first derivative. Okay, so in getting the ln, let me just recall. We differentiate first whatever is inside the ln and divide it over the original uh, function inside the natural logarithm. So again, to recall, we have d all over dx of ln of x. First, we need to differentiate x, okay, divided by the original function, which is x. So the derivative of x is 1, and but divided by the original function, we have 1 all over x as our answer. So in this situation, it's still the same. So first, we have to differentiate 1 plus x squared all over the, the same function, which is 1 plus x squared. So differentiate 1 plus x squared, that's 0 plus 2x all over 1 plus x squared, or that's simply 1, 2x all over 1 plus x squared. So that will be your first derivative, okay? So how about the second derivative? If we are to repeat differentiation, okay, with the first derivative that we have gotten, okay, we will be having a quotient rule, okay? So the quotient rule. So the quotient rule is uh, low d high, okay, minus high d low all over low squared. So I have taught that formula, okay, on my previous discussion about the quotient rule. And here it is, just a quick uh snap okay this is the formula for the quotient rule so we have uh, low d high minus high d low all over low squared so we're going to use that so low we get low one plus x squared that's the denominator and the differentiate whatever is the numerator we have 2x and then minus okay minus high, which is the, the 2x or the numerator, and differentiate the low, okay? And all over, we have to square whatever is the denominator. All right. So we have f double prime of x, so that we have 1 plus x squared multiplied by 2x, that's 2, minus 2x, then we have 1 plus x squared, that is 0 plus 2x, that's the derivative of 1 plus x squared, then we have 1 plus x squared all over squared, okay? So they, this becomes 2 if we are going to distribute 2. So that becomes 2 plus 2x squared minus, okay, we have 2x times 2x. That becomes 4x squared, okay? Minus, since we have a minus sign here, okay, all over 1 plus x squared squared. So simplifying, we have 2 minus 2x squared because 2x squared minus 4x squared is negative 2x squared and then we have 1 plus x squared squared okay so this will become our final answer for the second derivative of the ln of 1 plus x squared and i hope you guys learned something about this video we will be having a part two of the higher order derivatives on the next video so please tune in and subscribe